after last week and all the Fed jawboning and the reports, it's pretty clear that the Fed is going to be on target to raise the interest rates another 150 basis points by the end of the year. Markets don't like that. However, I think there's an opportunity for a bounce in the near future. This is your 12-minute trading market minute for Sunday, the 16th of October. Here's what we call a triple pane fractal chart of the S&P 500. We've got the monthly chart on the left-hand side, weekly in the middle. We have the daily on the right-hand side. These are all separated by about a factor of five from each other in terms of time frame. And so time frame relates to chart analysis from some basic simple rules. Rule number one is that larger time frames dominate the trend. We do have a monthly downtrend in play right now and that's extremely powerful we also have a weekly downtrend in play that as well is extremely powerful so we should expect to see price continuing to work to the downside however i think there's a very strong support zone down here between 3400 to 3500 on the s p cash index so that's going to be slightly different from the s p futures right now due to cost to carry until we get into December. So again, the momentum is to the downside. However, there is extremely strong support from 3,400 to 3,500. Also, at the same time, I think what we're going to be seeing is as we get into next week and beyond, this energy, you can think of this energy as almost like a fuel tank with full over here and empty down here on this line. So it's going to be getting into the empty zone, and this is where we start to see range expansion move into range contraction. Now, range contraction can move a couple of different ways. It can go sideways into a bear flag, or it can also actually reverse to the upside. That's the fastest way for a chart to kind of restore itself. So as we start to drop these green candles off of the August sample, this is where we're going to run into an extremely exhausted weekly chart, which is going to be unlikely to continue as it starts to chew into this very strong support down here between 3,400 to 3,500. So this is where I see rule number two coming into play, where all of this energy on the daily chart goes to rule number two, which is that reversals start from the inside out. They start from the smaller time frames. in this case, the daily chart versus the parent time frames of weekly and monthly, which are pushing down so hard. So we are going to see these counter trend rallies, these bear market rallies from time to time. And I think it's just about time within the next week or so for that to occur. The news is horrible. No matter which way you go, everybody is bearish. The market is saturated with bears right now. All it will take will, will be one short spark of hope to get short covering started. We saw part of that on Thursday this week. And that, to me, is, again, part of the bottoming process. So I, I think within the next week or two, we have the possibility maybe of getting up to 4,000 or so. I think it's going to be very, very difficult to get above this descending trend line and above the 200-day moving average if that does occur. So this process is not predicting the future per se, but we were looking at evidence on all different time frames. We're looking at trend and energy and looking for the highest probability of what the future outcome will be. And that, to me, will be a bounce in the next week or two. That's it for today's Market Minute. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next one.